All right, what's up, guys? Uh, this is a little off topic, but I, I get asked this question all the time when I'm tutoring. So what is this thing pi? So this I'm gonna show you two ways to think of pi, and hopefully it'll stick in your head and never leave again. Because people have this issue, oh, pi is this huge number that goes on forever. It's not, it's not that large of a number, okay? Don't, you know, calm down. Let's talk about what it actually is. So what I need you, this is like a thought experiment. I want you to imagine in your brain a circle. So here's a circle. Woo, and it's not the best circle. I'm not a great circle drawer, but whatever, I tried. Now, we have this thing circle. We have this thing straight across the middle. Do you remember what that guy's called? It rhymes with schmiameter. Hmm? It's the diameter. Okay? Now here's the thought experiment. I want you to imagine that I can take this thing off. And I take the diameter off, and it's like a string, and I'm holding it. And I'm saying to myself, I wonder how many of these strings wrap around the outside of the circle. Hmm, how many? And you might be thinking, I don't know, three, four, five, seven. Well, let's start wrapping them and see what happens. Let's see. If I take the first one and I wrap it, it goes, whoa, maybe like right to there. And then I take another one, I say, oh, here's the second diameter. Whoa, here's a third. About three. So look at that. Three diameters wrap around. That's pretty cool that three of these things go around, which means if I know the distance across here, suppose it was 10 feet, there was a circle that's 10 feet across. Guess how far does it all the way around? 10, 20, 30 feet. And what if it was 20 feet across? What would the distance around be? The distance around would be 20, 40, 60 feet around. And what if the distance across was three miles? Okay, how far would the circle be? Like you have a crop circle out in your cornfield? Well, if it's three miles across, then it's gonna be three, six, nine miles all the way around because about three of these things wraps around, okay? It's pretty cool. So we can make a formula for that. If this is diameter, D, how many of them go around the circle? Well, the circumference is simply equal to three diameters, three D. But I told you a little lie. It's not actually three diameters that go around the circle. The exact number of diameters that wrap around a circle is exactly pi. Pi of them. Pi is the number of diameters that go around the circle. One, two, three, and a little bit more. 0 0.1415, da, da, da. A little bit more of another one. Exactly pi of them. So the circumference isn't three times the diameter. The circumference is pi times the diameter because it's not three of them that go around. The number that go around, pi of them. Pi diameters go around the circumference. So around here, pi of them. Pi is a number that many of those diameters. Now, what do we also know about D? We also know that D diameter is the same thing as this little radius plus radius. We know that two radiuses equals a diameter, doesn't it? Cool, since two radiuses equals a diameter, instead of pi diameters, we have pi of these double radiuses. How many double radiuses? One, two, three double radiuses go around, radii. Well, pi double radiuses and rearranging it simply gives us this two pi r. When you see the formula, c equals two pi r, pause and say, what is that saying? Okay, c equals two pi r, what is that saying? Let me think for a second. Well, these double radiuses, which is a diameter, goes around pi times pi diameters wrap around the circle, okay? That's what pi is. But there's another way to think about pi. Um, that's one way to think of it. Another way to think about pi is not just the number of diameters that goes around the circle. Pi is also something else. So that was thinking of pi in a linear, a linear sense, like a measuring one-dimensional sense. Now I'm gonna think of it as an area, square. I call area square area because you're counting squares. Let's think of it in a different sense. So imagine a circle again, thought experiment. Imagine a circle, here's a circle. And if I was to ask you the following, well, if I draw a radius to here and a radius to here, and I build a square with that radius, how many of these squares do you think can fit 
inside the circle, inside here. How many can fit in there? How many do you think? Well, let's see. Um, well, let's... well, if I stack them like this, you can see if I have four of them, it's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much. So four is too many. Well, guess how many do fit in there? About three. About three. Think how cool that is. So I know if this is 10, I can find the area of this square is just 10 times 10 is 100. And since three of these guys fit in, 100 times three, it's about 300 square units. Cool. Whatever this R is, if this is five, this is five, the area of this thing is 25. How many of those 25? fit inside here, three of them, so I got 25, 25, 25, it's 75 square units. So if this was inches, five inches, five inches, 25 square inches. Remember area, you're counting squares, right? So these would be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. But if I connected them like this, we're counting how many actual little squares are in there. That's what area is, it's square area. So I got 25 little squares, and since about three of these fit inside, you got 75 in there. But I lied to you again, because guess how many of these actually fit inside there? Guess, not three. I don't take this R, multiply it by this R, and what's R times R? R squared. I don't take this R squared and say three of these R squareds fit in there, because a little more than three. Okay, a little more than three. As a matter of fact, the number of these R squareds, these squares built with the radius, radius, a square built with the radius, the number of those that fit inside is pi. Exactly pi, man, pi of them. So if I know the area of that thing, I know pi of them go in. So I know the area isn't three R squared, it's pi R squared. And the reason why it's pi R squared, because Pi r squareds fit in the circle. That's how many r squareds are in there. There are pi of these things in this. I can take pi of these r squareds and fit them in there. So the area of the circle is pi r squared, not because your book said it's pi r squared. The reason why the area of a circle is pi r squared is because pi r squares fit in the circle. That's what pi is, okay? It's a number. So don't, a lot of people get hung up on the fact that it's irrational. They're like, oh, pi, it goes on forever and ever. 3.1, <laughs> Okay, irrationality is a very hard to conceive. It's hard to think of. Don't let its irrationality get in the way that every time you see someone shoot a three-pointer, <whistles> They got about pi points. Pi is about three, about three. And if you can't remember pi, I'd rather you think three than a gigantic huge number. It's about three. About three of these diameters wrap around and about three of these squares built with the radius fit inside. Those are the two ways you can think about pi. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day.